Hey everybody and welcome back to Wobbly Life. Today my son and I are going to show you how to get all four of the new ocean artifacts which unlocks the ocean collection of costumes. So as you can see from the map we're starting at the dock down on the residential island just down the road from grandma's house. Now to get each of the four ocean artifacts, you need to fish in different biomes. The first one we're gonna get is in the deep sea. And there are several deep sea locations in the game. You don't have to use this one right here. But this is where we are, so we decided to use it. Another thing we discovered, and I think you'll really appreciate this, is that if you're playing on a PC, I strongly recommend that you plug in a controller. It is so much easier to do this mission with a controller than it is to do with the mouse. And generally speaking, I struggle to use the controller when I play on the Xbox, so... It is really that big of a difference. Let me also take a moment to say thanks for watching. If you're enjoying the Wobbly Life series, please smack that like button to let us know and we'll keep bringing you more Wobbly Life videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. We are so close to a thousand, uh, which is a which is a big deal for us. We, we didn't really think we were going to get there. So thank you for everybody who's made that happen. Another thing you might want to consider is not doing this in a thunderstorm because lightning can strike the boat and send any fish you've already caught flying back into the water. I did learn that the hard way. But, uh, you know... We're going to do it anyway, just because we're here and we don't want to wait. And, oh, there you go. The clamshell is the artifact that you get from the deep sea. So uh, we're going to run that back to the museum now. This is exciting. All right. Okay, so here we are at the museum with our first ocean artifact. And let's see what our friend has to say. What a great artifact in such good condition. One of four. A giant clamshell from the bottom of the ocean. The next artifact is found in shipwrecks. So to get to the shipwreck, you're going to head back to the same dock we were at, and you're going to head down this channel here in between the lighthouse and the observatory. The wreck itself is located just past this ramp, over on the left. Right over here. And it looks like the wreckage of an old Viking ship or something like that. So we're going to move into position so that our fishing poles are over the wreck itself. And we are going to try and secure our next artifact. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, it can take a lot of fishing to get these artifacts. As you can see, we actually um, had so many fish, we decided to come drop them off and uh, get some money before heading back for a second attempt at the shipwreck. But if you have patience and continue fishing, you will eventually retrieve the next artifact. Or, wait, wait, yes, my son got it. I got the seaweed, he got, it looks like a uh, pearl. All right, let's go return this one to the museum. Well done. We don't have this artifact yet. So this artifact 
a beautiful glistening pearl. All right. Two out of four. So we need to go for artifact number three, which is, um, uh, sorry, buddy. Wait. <laughs> no, wait. No. Don't hang on to the front of the car. Not the front. Oh, God. There. Wait. No. <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. Artifact number three can only be retrieved by fishing at the new coral reef, which is located off of the jungle island. So we're going to head over to the fishing dock on the jungle island. All right, so here we are. And I'm going to just... Um, where am I going? Okay, wait. So here's the dock on the jungle island. And I am going to... There's only one fishing boat here. All right. But luckily it does have the two poles. So once you get in the fishing boat, you're going to head to the left. And down the coast a bit, you will find the new coral reef that has been added to the game. When you're driving the boat, it will look like a big dark spot just ahead of you in the, uh, in the water. And when you get there and you look, it will say Coral Reef from the upper right-hand corner. And, and this is some really uh, beautiful, beautiful work they've done here. I, I really hope they allow us to go underwater at some point. I, I think scuba diving in the Coral Reef would just be absolutely beautiful. So I'm hoping that's something the devs consider in a future update. So yeah, um, here we are at the Coral Reef and we... Oh, a sea cucumber. One of the other things I really like about the game is that you get uh, different fish depending on where you are fishing. And um, yeah, I've never seen the sea cucumber before. All right, back to fishing. And there we go! We got coral! Yay! Another artifact! And a lot of sea cucumbers! And a lot of seahorses! Alright! Let's take it back! So after returning our fish at the dock to make some money, my son came up with the idea of um, taking the artifact to Steve. The wobbly at the uh, the new ancient trial ruin, and um, to be honest, uh, Steve Steve seems less than impressed with our find. Though he does, if you talk to him, thanks for helping me complete the trials. I'll make sure to mention you in my report. So it's, it's nice to know that we will get some, you know, official recognition in the uh, wobbly archaeology journals. Uh, wait. Oh, so this was all about smacking me in the head with pots. Okay, okay, to complete that. Are you kidding me? It's, it's the goblet! I got the I got the goblet again. If you guys have been oh, wait two. <laughs> if you guys have watched our previous videos, you know how um, how many times I've seen this goblet and not been able to get it. So uh, I don't think we're gonna find three. Wow. All right. So um, we're gonna return both artifacts. Yay! 
All right, so here we are at the museum, and uh, let's let's do that one first. And that is the third of the four ocean artifact. A piece of coral from the jungle reef. All right, now I'm just going to return this one because I haven't gotten that. And this is um, for the gold collection, I think. Yay! A beautiful solid gold goblet. All right. Let's go get the fourth ocean artifact. Now this one, you need to head over to Paradise Island. But the nearest boat to that is actually, um, actually it's equidistant from the docks and from the residential island, Grandma's Island. So after dropping off our second goblet at the, uh, the treasure map store, we, um, oh! Because it isn't one of our wobbly life videos unless my son drowns me. Yeah. But, uh, so we dropped off the second, uh, goblet artifact at the treasure map store, and it only got us 20 wobbly dollars. And then we headed over to the docks. Oh, there's only... Oh. Well, that's not good. The fishing boats here only have one fishing pole. They don't have one of the boats that have both. Okay, so I guess we'll take... Two different fishing boats. Alright, so once we got our boats, we're gonna head over to the beach on Paradise Island. Over near where the outdoor gym is and the, uh, the bouncy castle. So over here is where you're supposed to be able to get the fourth and final ocean artifact. So we're going to do some fishing. Did, did I mention that it takes a really long time to do this? I mean, uh, you guys are lucky because we can just edit out all the... Uh, all the in-between stuff, but it takes a long... This is a really tough fish. What do I got here? This has got to be something. Whoa! I love the, the bell. Come on! I got something! Watch it be a shopping cart. Oh! What is this? Oh my god, it's huge! A giant tuna? <laughs> oh, this is awesome! This isn't the artifact, though. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's as big as you are. That's, that's really cool. What? Okay, hang on a second. Hang on. My son wants to uh, take the giant tuna back and see how much money you get for it. Because most of the fish are in that, you know, four to seven dollar range, with some of the bigger ones going for about twenty. But let me just let me just reel this in and uh, another cod. Let's go. Yeah, we'll go return some fish. All right, so here we are back at the docks with. Uh, a rather large boatload of fish, but no artifact. I, I will say, um, if you don't, if you don't mind the fishing and the uh, occasional boots and seaweeds, you, you can make a decent amount of money by doing the fishing mission over and over. Um, I, I can get off. Really, I can get off my boat. All right. So how much is it? 50? Wow. Yeah, so that, that fish is uh, 
definitely worth the effort if you can get it. So, a very, very, very long time later, I managed to finally reel in the last of the artifacts. The Sea Turtle Shell. And here we go. The fourth and final artifact, the shell from a majestic sea turtle. Wow, you really have been busy fishing. This artifact completes the ocean collection and unlocks the costume. Yay, we did it, buddy! And this is what the costume looks like. It's, it's really kind of cool. I have to say. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode of Wobbly Life. Thank you for joining us. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And as always, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. And we will be back soon with more Wobbly Life videos for you guys. Thanks for watching.